well. It's here. It's Super Wednesday. Uh, Brian Sullivan joins the table. Uh, how are you doing there? It is Super probably, Wednesday. Yeah, it's so probably like you guys, been a little bit busy. Anything going on? Nothing no, at all. No, nothing. And how, our economy the, is not at stake. Yeah, how are the you, markets reacting? You know, yesterday we had one of the best first days of the month in three years. I mean, stock market rallied big time yesterday. Today we're indicated a little bit down, but we had solid job creation. Am I the only one that thought two years ago this was going to be a race about the economy? And, and hardly anybody is talking about the economy, only indirectly, maybe either like Trump wants to go after the Chinese or Bernie Sanders wants to go after banks. But other than that, the economy's been off the table. I think this is a very surprising turn of events yesterday. Well, I'm hoping that it becomes part of the debates more. I mean, I think that Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton had some great discussions about the economy and the future and no. how to deal with some of the imbalances that we're seeing. Well, On the Republican side, nothing. Not so much. Well, how, does, how does the issue of wage stagnation, which I think is the biggest underlying economic issue play out in, uh, in an election. Well, this is early. So one of the most interesting comments I read this morning, now again, it is early in the day, is that if we get Trump versus Clinton, the labor unions have always gone, or traditionally gone, Democrat. Could some labor unions go with Trump? Because if you're a manufacturing worker and you're out there and your wages haven't gone up or your job's been lost yeah. and you've got a guy, Trump, that's saying, I'm going to go after China, I might go after Mexico. Some of the commentaries, could the unions actually start to migrate? Not at the top. Not Trump. at the top, but the but, but, but the rank and file. Rank and file. file. Union. But it might splinter the unions. I, I think the Teamsters were the last. They went for Reagan, I think, in 80. And it doesn't it happen. But, you know, uh, that is, again, you've been talking about it. We've been talking about uh, the Northeast, uh, the, the Midwest, those industrial states. That is, uh, that would be competitive. If ends up being uh, on the side of free trade and Donald Trump ends up being Donald Trump, you could have an interesting battle for a lot of union votes. So long, Western Pennsylvania. Oh, my happens. Lord. Wow. All right, we'll be right back with much more Morning Joe.